car and I'm hoping it's not too windy. Due to the certain uh, circumstances, I wasn't able to do that clip earlier. Uh, it's just too much to talk about. So yeah, it's nearly done. The last two things that I need to do is uh, get carbon fiber skinning for the tank. And uh, yeah, the rear suspension. I'm thinking about the O-Lins. You know, the ones you can adjust. That'll be very nice, but uh, yeah. Since uh, last year, I've done quite a lot on it. So uh, yeah, as you can tell. <laughs> well, unfortunately it's not that clean because uh, last few days, yeah, the weather was uh, pretty rough, as you can imagine. It's December, it's England, so yeah, all nasty raining and blah blah. So yeah, that's how it looks for now. So there's not much left from the standard bike because I bought it. Basically uh, from that I think it's only a frame and a lamp pretty much. Oh yeah, and the wheels. So uh, yeah, I've sent the engine last year for restoration. So they made it all nice and uh, shiny because the old paint was chipping off and it was looking crap and all that. So uh, yeah, I did quite a lot, including, as you can probably tell, all the carbon fiber parts. All that been ordered from uh, USA, USA import. I uh, can't remember now the exact name, but I think they were called uh, Houston Ducati Superbikes or something like that. Yeah, anyway, there were uh, guys from Texas. Do you like it, Bonner? <laughs> yeah, but joke aside. So, uh, yeah, except uh, except the front mod guard. All that pretty much been, uh, yeah, bought from uh, Houston bikes. Well, as you can tell, the quality is not really good. Well, you're gonna ask what's that? Uh, <laughs> basically, I was uh, mounting my uh, lovely uh, Rizoma reservoirs, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, a tiny bit of. Uh, Braking fluid just you know got spilled on the on the front mount guard and yeah that's basically uh, uh, how it looks it looks bad but yeah probably I'm gonna buy a new one next summer because it have to be perfect so yeah it's quite a lot <laughs> don't ask me how much did I spend uh, I stopped counting last year so there's no point of asking those questions <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot a lot of work but then again. It's my bike, it's my love, so I don't count any money. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to put the camera down for a second because I'm about to show you what I did inside. Right, are you ready? Boom! <laughs> I'm very proud of those. I did all that myself, so yeah, here we got the nice Dino Jet. It's not much of a gaining horsepower if you ask me but then again it makes uh, sound the bike really really nice you know it's a really nice uh, well I don't know how to say it dual no no that's not the word uh, duet whatever you know both of the combines with nice thermignonis and uh, open intake with those uh, air cones air filters yeah it gives you a yeah really nice sound really nice I completely got rid of the air box because yeah it was crap <laughs> I didn't like it <sighs> it's actually quite a few bits and bobs I did uh, first of all uh, I got those uh, calipers nicely refurbished. I mean, in standard they were the Brembos, so a very nice brand. They are breaking very firmly, they're very nice. I got the Hell Hoses, <laughs> whatever it sounds like, yeah. The Hoses, brand Hell, <laughs> if you like it that way. Uh, yeah, Rizomas, as I mentioned before. Those clocks, they're actually not standard for Monster. I took them from uh, uh, GT Classic because I like the silver rim. It just, you know, goes matching really nicely with the with the front lamp. Uh, well, air intake as you can tell, that's really nice. Dino Jet, 
you know uh, new lines and new uh, plugs for the for the spark plugs so yeah that goes really nice matching with the red color obviously the engine being refurbished all the carbon fiber uh, Termignoni high exhaust is actually not from this model it's from uh, Ducati Monster, but from 2001, the big boy, you know, 900. So uh, I'm still having a bit of an issue because, as you can tell, it's touching a little bit over here. So whenever I take the pillion passenger, it's rubbing a bit. So that's not good. You don't want to spend a fortune on uh, exhaust and then get it like, yeah, a hole or scratches or whatever. So I still have to work on that. I got also a Scott Wheeler. Very, very nice thing. Look at that. It's it's winter. It's raining, but look at the look at the chain. No rust, no filth, no stone, you know, sticking to to those paste when you're using from the tin when you spray it all over your uh, chain. No, it's just nice, clean, lubricated. So that's very nice. Oh yeah, another thing. What I did recently, uh, a good friend of mine, uh, he's a mechanic, but also he does like a painting jobs and stuff, you know, he just wanted to have a little bit of practice. So I gave him my uh, swing arm to paint it in black because before I've used those uh, carbon looking wraps and I tell you what they're absolutely horrible you know they're I know they might appear cheap on eBay like you know $20 or something like that but I would never go for that again it just later on we'll attach pictures so yeah if you want to go for a for a nice look yeah invest money in the carbon so yeah carbon carbon one more time carbon no wraps no carbon stuff looking you know filth it's just not worth it Uh, I think my mouth went pretty dry, so maybe enough of talking and let's just start the beast. So yeah, as you can tell, it sounds really nice. She's now warmed up properly because, uh, yeah, I just left home five minutes ago. Basically, I was using the good weather because the last few, well, if you can call it a good weather to start off, but last few days, oh, I've been in horrendous rain and all that, so yeah. I love that sound. It's like me sipping a whiskey. <laughs> Basically that's how it sounds. I would say it sounds pretty neat. So yeah, 
overall I think I did a pretty good job. Let me know in the comments. There's one more special thing. I'm only using it at night. I don't know if you can see it now, but... <laughs> uh, probably you can't see it, so we're gonna wait for the night. 